Alright, alright guys, what's going on? No introduction needed, Kit Twist, House of Entertainment, we already know that. Let's get to it. Um, Want to talk about this two past fights we seen last night. Boy, shout out to um, the Charlotte brothers, the twins, they definitely doing their thing. Um, or is that their last name or their first name? I don't know. But the twins, let's shout out to them. They doing their thing. Um, great fight. I I really thought Rosado had a bigger chance in this because of his past performance against Peter Quillen. I figured well Rosado might have a chance to, you know, give the guy some oh shit moments. You know what I mean? Because I think the last fight I saw with the twin that twin. In particular, Charlo, I think is his name. The last fight I remember seeing with him, he fought uh, Hopkins. Not the real Hopkins, but Hopkins' nephew. And it wasn't that big of, like, fucking of an amazing fight. It wasn't like, you know, like he was just, he beat the shit out of the guy. You know what I mean? But, you know, Hop I guess Hopkins had a lot of experience. And he was, you know, he was doing his thing. You know, moving around, you know, I don't remember the fight that well, but, you know, the guy, you know, really kept, you know, Jamel, like, you know, he kept him busy. He kept him busy. Um, so I figured that Rosado would, you know, do his thing. I, I mean, I did it. I, I was going for Rosado because, you know, Rosado is, you know, it's Latino just like me, but... At the same time, you know, I knew that Jamel, you know what I'm saying, he's a good fighter. And he showed it. He showed it. He showed it. He moved around. He moved around the ring. When he would get in the corners, he would immediately get out of there. He would set up his punches. You know, good counter punch. I think Rosado was doing his job. And, you know, he would, he would get comfortable with the job. And once he would get comfortable with the job... The, you know, the twin would come in there, and he would, like, do a nice little counter punch. You know, he would do a little combo here and there and move around, move around. He just, he was just, he was he was just too good for Rosado, man. Rosado wasn't able to keep up. He wasn't able to do his thing. And now, in my opinion, officially, I see Rosado as the gatekeeper, man. That's what I'm calling him. That's my... You know, that is my official title to him. He is the gatekeeper for me. That is what he is. Um, great things come for both of the twins. I see them doing their thing most definitely. I most definitely see... Um, I see the other dude, uh, his twin, I see him beating Carlos Molina. I believe he, he has the... You know, he can. I believe he has the skills to beat Molina, most definitely. Even though Molina is an awkward motherfucker, but I believe he got the skills to pay the bill, the bills. Um, I don't know who's, who this this one is fighting. Um, I think they they sh they should be in the same in the same way as Peter Quillen. Yeah, they are. They are. So. Why not throw him in there with Peter Quillen? Then again, I would love to see Lada with Peter Quillen because Lada needs to get a fucking title. All your bitch ass motherfucker, El Heyman. Well, hey, El Heyman, cool cat, cool cat, sorry. But, anyways, fuck that. No, wait, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Lada is long overdue for a fucking title chance. All y'all motherfuckers need to stop bullshitting and give Lada a fucking title because he deserves it. Alright? Lada has been fighting tough motherfuckers for the longest. Where the fuck his title at? Okay? But with that being said, man, yeah, I see, I see, uh, you know, the Jamel Twins doing very good this year. Um, that kid, last night, he really showed that, you know, he has what it takes to... You know, be in the top echelon. So, congratulations to him. Um, you know, good fight, good fight, was good fight and all. You know, he really did his thing. Now, on to Mr. Peterson against uh, John something. I forgot his name. 
Anyways, um, I did not know, I did not know the Canadian that well. I just didn't. He's from Canada. I'm from, I'm from the U.S. Well, I'm from Cuba, but I live in the U.S., so, fuck it. I didn't bother to even research up on him. Fuck it. I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know who you are and how you are and what you are when you come to the U.S. Fuck all that research bullshit. But, um, you know... Uh, I did not know about I did not know about him, but I do know about uh, Peterson. And the thing about Peterson is that you know Lamont Peterson is one of those guys that he comes to fight, baby. He proved that to me against Victor Ortiz, against fucking Amir Khan, because Amir Khan was going to work on Peterson in the first half of the fight. I mean, Amir Khan up till the seven eighth round, Amir Khan was just fa 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 fa. Va, 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 just letting their combinations go, and Peterson would get, pop, 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 get, you know, he would be like a bubble head, pop, 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 he'll keep walking forward, pop, 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 keep walking forward, you know, and that shit wears you down, man, and the first, the first half of the fight, I say, uh oh, that little Haitian Canadian motherfucker, he might, he might, he might put. Put, you know, put Lamar Peterson on the floor. But boy, Lamar is a tough motherfucker. That goes to show you how tough of a motherfucker um, this dude is. Uh, what's his name? Um, Lucas Matisse. That's why I love Lucas Matisse, man. That's why I got so much love for him. I mean, if people think he's a bum, then you know what? You guys go suck a dick. That's slow, motherfucker. Because Lucas Matisse is a warrior, baby. Most definitely. Um, because for you to stop Lamont Peterson, yo, that kid last night, that kid was throwing combinations. He was doing his thing. He was putting in work. Now, don't get me wrong. That lasted up to the sixth round. Fifth or sixth round. Now, during the fifth or sixth round, that's when... That's when... um. During the fifth or sixth round, that's when he kind of, you know what I'm saying, went, he kind of went, shot down, and he kind of, you know what I'm saying, he kind of just, I guess he, he didn't expect Lamar Peterson to come, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, you know what I'm saying, keep digging to the body, that's something that will also tire you out. I guess he didn't expect that opposition from Lamar Peterson, great job to Lamar Peterson, Goes to the body so well, man. So fucking well. You know, he was just digging in that body. Oh, my God. That I mean, after the 10th round, you can see that the kid, you know, the Canadian kid, he was kind of getting a little bit tired. And Lamont was just going to that body. And he was doing his thing going forward, which is, that's one of the things he's very good at going forward. And um, he just... Lamont Peterson just proved that he still belongs up. You know, he still belongs in, in in the top echelon, baby. He's, you know, he still belongs in the top. And, you know, he did his thing. He went to work. He did not let uh, the Lucas Matisse fight dictate his future, you know. And I see great things for Lamont Peterson. You know, I have high hopes for him this year. I would like to see him fight Donnie Garcia, man. Because he will keep coming. Donnie Garcia... Has definitely improved. Danny Garcia has definitely is doing his thing. So I feel like this fight will be a banger. And it should happen. I don't see a reason why not. It most definitely should happen. So that's my take on it. Congratulations to uh, Lamar Peterson. Great fight. Great determination. You know, great, great body work. You know, did his thing. Uh, the Canadian kid thought he was just going to come in there and... and you know, dictate the fight, but Lamont Peterson said, nah, uh and he put in work. Anyways, this is your boy Kid Twist. It's already 9 minutes and 20, 30 seconds, so I'm out.